Hey everybody, it's Linda, and I just want to show you how quick and easy it is to create a video message for your students using Studio. So Studio is going to be found right down here on your uh, Canvas menu. I'm going to click on it, and it's going to open the Studio app. Right? Obviously, I have no videos yet, and so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and record a video. So I'm just going to hit the record. You have two chop options you can screen capture which is if you want the students to see what's on your screen and then hear your voice like a narrated set of PowerPoints but what I want to do this morning is a webcam capture so I'm going to select webcam capture and it's going to open this box for me so I have the ability to turn the video on and off and then on this side it will let me uh, pick my um, audio s source, my microphone. I use a headset, um, but your uh, speaker on your computer will work just fine. And so when I hit start recording, it's going to give me a countdown until I'm live. And so we're going to three, two, one, live. Hey students, this is Professor Williams, and I just want to give you some information about how we're going to be transitioning from a face-to-face -face class to online for the near future. When I'm done, I'm simply going to hit finish. If I'm not happy with what I've recorded, then I'm going to hit start over. But let's say that I've got my message to my students like I want it, and I'm going to hit finish. So make sure that you give um, your uh, video a name that you can remember because once you get a bunch of these populated you'd be searching all through it's going to upload for a moment um, once it finishes uploading then it's going to process once it processes it will be ready for you to deploy into your class So it's thinking it's processing it's really pretty quick so I'm going to do something fancy here and I'm going to change my thumbnail and the thumbnail is simply the first screen um, that that you see and so I'm gonna say replace thumbnail and then I'm just gonna pick an image that I pulled off of the web so now when the video gets deployed that's gonna be kind of the the splash screen so next thing I need to do is I want to share the media and what you have two options you could email it to individuals or you can link I'm going to link and so I'm gonna say create public link instead of linking I'm actually gonna embed this one and so I'm simply gonna put my cursor down here in the embed code and double click and it'll highlight all of it I'm gonna use the control C function on my computer to copy it and then I'm gonna say done so now I'm going to go back to my dashboard and I'm going to pick the class where I want to deploy it. So I'm going to put this in an announcement. So I'm going to create a new announcement and it's going to be message from your professor. Whoops. Type much? All right. So down here where I would normally type my announcement, now I'm going to pick that little looks like a movie clip where it says insert edit media and I'm gonna click on that now we already said that what we copied was the embed code so I'm just gonna go to embed and it's put my cursor in that box and now use control V the paste function right? and I'm gonna say okay and so now make that a little bigger and now I'm gonna take that I'm just going to center it. I'm going to pause it. And what you'll see is that um, students, this is the, uh, Williams, and the student will be able to you. navigate. I've got um, kind of scratchy video uh, audio because I've got two microphones recording me simultaneously. But but trust me, the the audio um, comes out um, comes out great. So I'm just going to say um, save. And now when I go to home, 
I come back home, I go to student view, students are going to see that announcement message from your professor, right, they're going to be able to see it, they can go ahead and play it, and literally, um, that's all there is. So, I hope that this helped, and if you need anything, um, just let me know.